hours. Thank you. Um, hey guys, I'm Allie. I'm from North Carolina. And I teach um, freshmen. I teach uh, Math 1 and Foundations of Math 1, which is primarily freshmen, but y'all know we have sophomores, juniors, and seniors in there too. Um, so this is what our exam schedule looked like this past spring. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's three weeks worth of exams. Um, and it gets better. So um, basically what it is, is we have two sets of classes. We have block and year long. So my block kids I see every day for 90 minutes for a semester. My year long kids I see every other day for 90 minutes all year. So we test them on two different tracks. We test the year-long kids first. We test the block kids second. So while the year-long kids are testing, we have those block kids for three hours. Um, and if you look over here on the bottom where it says uh, 4A and 4B, that was a block class. So that meant I had those kids for three hours, two days in a row, right after lunch. And remember I said I taught freshmen. So, <laughs> yeah. so, yeah, um, Anna sympathizes because this was our life. <laughs> yeah. So, what I wanted to do was find something that I could do that would give them a break and give me a break. <laughs> but even though Ryan's telling me to take a break, I mean, I can't give up that much time. It's right before the exams. So, what I was trying to do was find something that I could give them a brain break, but I wasn't going to waste time. And so, this is what I came up with. So I told them they had 90 seconds, and they had to draw as many lines across that paper as they wanted. You know, you're going to have one kid that says they want to draw one. So I told them they had to do at least four. Whatever pattern, nothing, no rhyme or reason to it. The only rule was that it had to go all the way across the page. And then I passed out the crayons. <laughs> all right, I gave them 10 minutes, which turned into 15 because they whined. But... The only rule was the colors couldn't be side by side. So each box, they could touch at a corner, but each box had to be a different color. And I didn't tell them why. I just told them they were coloring, which is way so much fun. Because there's a whole bunch of really happy freshmen right there getting the color. <laughs> so, but then I turned it toward math. So I asked them these seven questions about their sheet that they did. So they had to go through and count up how many total shapes they had, all their, how many colors they had. It was limited. I had boxes of eight crayons, so that did have a cap on it, which ended up being handy later. Um, so I asked them all of that. Then they had to go write their answers up on sheets around the room. And then each of those sheets turned into their data set. And so all of a sudden we went from coloring to all kinds of math. So we turned it into a one variable statistics comparison. So they had to go through and find all that information about their, um, their data set, make all that good stuff, describe the shape of the data, and then for my groups that finished early, we had a couple challenges. Find a group with a data shape similar to you, yours. Find a group that had one different. Why? What do you notice and wonder about the different data sets? And then to level it up even more, you know, find the regression line between two data sets. You know, what would be the relationship between the number of lines and the number of colors? Um, maybe the number of lines and the number of triangles, different things like that. So it was all told this took about 45 minutes to an hour, somewhere in that ballpark, depending on the different classes, how it went. But that was the middle of my three-hour review. So it was a quick way to give them a brain break, have some fun. Lord knows when I was in college, all I wanted to do was color during exams, too. That was the way I'd be stressed. But then we were able to turn it into something math that they could use as and be productive. So, and then that was it. All right. Woo.